Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my new video. In this video, we have Dose of Colors in collaboration with Desi and Katie. I am in love. It's safe to say that I am in love with this palette. I can tell you that. And if you are curious what else I've used from their collection, then keep on watching. <laughs> so before we start, I'm going to triple, double, double, double check the audio because it won't happen again. It may not happen again because it's the most annoying thing in the world to lose audio. By the way, my light is still on and that's why I look a little bit yellow. Give me a second. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better because it's all about the details, you know. <laughs> but uh, anyways, we are going to start with the face. I've checked my drawer uh, with primers and I saw this one, Stila. One Step Prime Prep Smooth and Smooths, Smooths and Nourishes. And I haven't used it in a while. Can't even remember if I liked it or not. I probably liked it because or else I would go give it away or throw it away. No, I don't throw it away. I just usually give it away. I rebel too much again. Let's use this. Now I'm going in with my favorite foundation at the moment. Lawless Woke Up Like This foundation. This is in the shade Golden. I tried another neutral shade, but it looked a little bit too ashy. This one looks a little bit too yellow. But hopefully we're going to blend it down the neck and mix it with a little bit of concealer. But the coverage of this foundation and the way it looks, it's so non-cakey. It's so beautiful. I'm going to use my velvet sponge again. You see, it kind of matches my body, but for my face it's a little bit too yellow. But it does match. Oh no, it's still a little bit yellow. Hmm, I don't know. You know what? Let's give it a try. I just mixed it with a little bit of NYX Cosmetics Foundation, Total Drop Foundation, because it was going to be too yellow. See, this is a little bit better, too dark and too yellow. So let's make something out of this. It's not a good start of a tutorial, but let's just hope the result will be good. You see how red my air is because of the blow dryer? If you're kind of in shock um, about the color of my foundation, don't be because if you're subscribed to my channel and you saw my previous videos, you know that 9 out of 10 times <clears throat> it's going to be okay. So today I'm going to use a new concealer. Da -da 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 -da. Finally, I'm going to use a new concealer. I'm not going to use the Tarte Shape Tape because I'm going to use the concealer from Benefit. And I've tried the airbrush version, uh, but I got this one today and it says full coverage in the back. And I was like, oh, I haven't tried this before. So I'm going to use it in the shade number one, which is pretty light, but your girl loves a bright under eye. I'm just going to use my finger for this. Okay, it does feel very creamy, which I love. I actually really love the concealer. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really creamy and dewy. And it does feel very comfortable. So after this is blended, I'm going to use the Fit Me translucent powder from Maybelline. And I'm going to use the more cleaner side of the br uh, brush sponge. So you probably can't really tell on camera, but it does crease more than my Tarte Shape Tape. I don't know if it's the combination of this powder and the uh, Benefit Concealer, or that the concealer is just maybe like a little too creamy. I don't know, but it does crease a little bit more, which sucks because I really like the concealer. Next time I'm going to try it with another powder. So for bronzer and blush, I'm going to use this new Estee Lauder by Violette. This is in the shade Soleil Doré. You still see this brand, brand new. This brush, <laughs> no thanks. Let's use this bronzer right here and the blush. The blush is very pinky, so hopefully it's not too pigmented. But um, yeah, let's go in with this color right here. And I'm using the Morphe Jacqueline brush in number 05. Oh, I like the undertone of it. It's kind of more neutral. A little bit more pinky, but I actually like it. Close to the hairline. 
Wow, I think this is a perfect shade to contour your face with. I don't know if you can see it, but it does have a kind of like a pinky undertone to it. Um, but usually when it's a little bit too amberish, I don't like it. But this one I really like. So in this video, I want to use as many products as possible from the Dose of Colors Desi Katie collection. I love both of them and I love Dose of Colors so much. If I could ever, ever, ever collaborate with a brand in the future, I would definitely want it to be um, with Dose of Colors. They're just one of my favorite brands. So for you guys to see the products, I want to use as many products as possible. So I'm going to use Desi Katie Chasing the Sun. I know this is going to be too dark to be a highlighter, but I want to use this as a kind of like an all over glow on my whole face to get that sun kissed look. Let's see if it's going to work. Oh, H -E -H -E. And the brush that I'm going to use is Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush in number 02, which is quite a big brush. But I'm just going in with this because it looked so good on them. So kind of like an all over glow. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I love this. Now I'm taking Fuego, which is the second highlighter. Well, actually it's our first highlighter, but this is still my old one. I still have a lot left. And I'm going to use this a little bit more specific with the with Jaclyn Hill's 09 brush. Just going to add this on the highest point of my face. And then last but not least, I'm going to use the blush from the Estee Lauder Violet palette. Yeah, just a little bit. To blend all of this, I'm going to use Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Setting Spray. So as usual, I'm going to do my brows off camera and then I will be right back to use Francacia. Glowing, glowing. So brows are done and I looked at the palette and I was like, I think you guys all know that these shades are stunning. You probably have seen it on Instagram or in other tutorials and they all have such a beautiful reflection and it's just very hard to describe what color it exactly is, which I think is beautiful. But today I'm kind of more into a rosy, mauve neutral mood, but I will definitely do a look with these later. But today I'm going to focus a little bit more on this side of the palette. So I'm going to start by using this color, which is necessary. It is necessary, this color, I like that. Ooh, this is a way more pigmented than I thought. I thought this is going to be a very light color that you almost can't see, but I was wrong. Ooh, this color is such a perfect color to begin any look with. This shade is actually very, very pretty, very blendable, very pigmented. Next color that I'm going to use is Girl Ba. Girl Ba. And that's this color, by the way, this one. And I'm going to use number 34 from the Jaclyn Hill, blah, blah, blah. I only dipped in once. Look at the color payoff. Pigmentation is insane. Okay, so, so far I'm really liking it. Um, let's see, what should we do? Okay, so I'm going to use this color right here, which is churro, churro? Yes, churro. And I'm going to place this on my lower lash line and smoke it out. Wowee. Obviously we're not finished yet, but I do have almost no fallouts. Smoky, smoky. I like it. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to use the color Try Me. I'm going to try you. And I'm going to apply this with my fingers. And then I'm going on top of that. I think I will be using just a kiss because I'm very curious to see that color. Oh, whoa. I didn't even like press it. I just touched it. Okay. Dead. Okay, let me 
You see that? I have never seen something like that so pigmented. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, it's so pigmented. And I don't even like really press um, the eyeshadow with my finger. So now I'm going in with just a kiss. She's so pigmented as well. And we're just going on top. Not really creating a halo eye, but just on top. That looks so beautiful, focus. See that? Like it. I'm just going back and forth with the shadows that we've used. Nothing special, just for a little bit more definition. So for the outer corners, I'm going to use cheer jeans. Jeans, I don't know what that means, jeans. I don't know, let me know what that means. But anyway, it's the darkest brown color. And I'm going to darken up um, the edges. I'm also going to use a little bit of the Just a Kiss shade, this shade right here, a little bit in the inner corner using 42. So, so far I'm really liking it, but so far I played it kind of safe because these colors are kind of what I used to wear. Um, I really like it, but you know, I have to, I have to use this color right here. Just going to use a pop of color, just a little bit, and maybe I will ruin it, maybe not, but we'll see. I'm scared. I'm just going to use it right here. Also going to use it a little bit here we can tell I'm scared by doing this you know what well we're busy let's use the darkest color as well we're taking risks anyway yes I like this a lot I don't know if my camera recorded it but I've used delinquent eye pencil from Urban Decay well, I'm using it right now on my waterline to smoke it out a little bit. I'm going to apply Lady Lashes and Ayla off camera and then I'll be right back to do the <laughs> lippies. Okay, so lashes are applied. I actually forgot how much I like these fluffy lashes. This is Ayla. Usually I wear Miami, sometimes Mikonos because they are quite heavy, but I forgot how pretty these are. So for lips, I am going to use the Joseph Colors Daisy Katie collab uh, in Hey Girl lipstick. And I'm going to use a little bit of a darker lip liner. This is NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Cold Brew. Yeah, Cold Brew. I'm going in with Hey Girl. So that is pretty much it for this look. I personally really love how it came out slightly different than what i usually do but because the eyeshadows are so holographic you can't really like tell i don't know what colors i blend i don't know i just really love how it came out i hope you guys like it too um audio check okay we're good so let me give a quick opinion about the products that i've used i don't think it's really necessary to give my opinion on this because it's stunning so my advice is just swatch it and the rest will speak for itself. Just, 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 you don't even like touch it. You don't even like have to swatch, touch it. Really love it. Really, really impressed. I love the color of the lipstick. I do think it's very wearable with any type of look. And I am planning on doing more looks with the Frankation palette. Obviously, I love the glosses, the newest gloss, which is called The Most. I've used it in my previous video. Oh, fell in love with it as well. Fuego, I love it. Chasing the Sun is a little bit too dark for me now. And I love it as an all-over glow. If it's going to be too dark for you, you can definitely use it as an kind of like all-over glow or as an eyeshadow. You can just do anything you want. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow me on my other social channels, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, whatever. See you guys soon. Bye. Oh, ja, ja. Na, 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 ja, ja.